Welcome back to my channel. This is Dave Law from Get Some Colour in Your Life on this wonderful, beautiful sunny day. I um, hope everyone's well. Uh, today's video, I'm going to be using this, uh, I believe they call ruling pens. Um, I'm going to be using this to apply uh, masking fluid. Um, you can see I'm using the, um, it's a blue masking fluid. The reason why I'm choosing to use masking fluid in today's painting is I want to really get some nice sparkles in the water. Because in the scene it's a really nice sun, sunny day, so I've got a lot of light reflecting. Um, so I'm going to be showing you how to uh, get this sparkly water effect. Um, so I'm using the um, ruling pen, but I'm not... 100% sure. Um, I'm using quite a lot of masking fluid. I'm masking off quite a lot of the paper. Um, so this this part of the the where I'm applying the masking fluid is where the paper is going to stay white. Um, so I've actually switched to a, a brush um, just to apply and 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 get it covered quicker. Um, I think the ruling pen would be nice in, in smaller, sort of finer details. If you've got highlights on people or um, just the, an outline of, of light, then this, this is a perfect tool. Um, and it's obviously not going to ruin your brushes. So just be careful if you are going to use masking fluid with um, brushes. Um, yeah, just... just um, Beware that um, once it does start to dry, it does um, clog up your brushes. So for the sky, I'm using a, a blue mix and I've, I've added some red and also some um, violet. Just to give a sort of purpley cast. And I really do like these. Uh, these are M. Graham watercolours. Uh, it's a newish set that I've uh, just bought. And I really like the honey binding uh, watercolours. Um, I like the way they re-wet, and I like the, um, they're quite vibrant, they're, they're really nice to use. So I, I want to use this, um, I want the hills to be uh, really soft and sort of in the distance, so I'll, I'll be showing you how to do this as well, um, mostly due to um, using wet in wet. So I'm just adding the um, colour of uh, my light mix of green. So I'm using sap green and then um, using some sort of red just to... Um, I want to mute it quite a bit. So I've, I've knocked that back so it's not quite punchy, it's not so, not so bright. And then just a nice um, mix of blue for the uh, water. Um, and I've added the same sort of colours as the sky, but not as um, it's not as purple. And I'm just just going over, and obviously just going over where the masking fluid is as well. So where the masking fluid isn't, then that gives us um, it, it gives a nice sparkle effect in the water. If you do use um, masking fluid yourself, then please drop us a comment. Let me know um, the best way of applying it, first of all, and uh, what sort of brand do you use? Uh, how do you apply it? I'd be interested to know. It's not something I use uh, a lot. Um, so you could you could actually do this and uh, use the dry brush effect. That would give you a nice sparkle in the water as well. As long as you've got a nice textured paper, then that would also work. adding a little bit of burnt umber by the way the uh, the color I've used in the sky as well as the blue is the dioxazine purple which is a new one for me um, I'm still getting used to the palette so yes yeah, the dioxazine purple
taking some cerulean blue and um, adding that to my greens just to give variety to some of the um, some of the uh, trees on the shoreline I used to live near this lake. It's a place um, in Rochdale called Hollywood Lake. Um, and I used, I used to really like um, walking around, uh, going up to the lake at least once a month, just to be out in the, in the outdoors and get some nice um, scenery and fresh air. And um, it's a really, really nice, nice thing to do um, if you live by a lake or any sort of wetlands or um, just to get out and um, have have walk and um, really take in the, your surroundings. Um, so I feel really, really fortunate to live uh, quite close to this place. Um, so I'm just... Just add in some of the um, some of the lines of trees in the um, on the hillside. So I'm using I'm using this quite freely, quite loose. Um, I want it to sort of be in the distance, as I said. And a lot of this painting, um, especially the hills, uh, are done wet in wet. So I want some of the trees to be a little bit um, undefined a little bit sort of fuzzy um, so that it gives a nice impression of distance and also you can see the uh, the color that I first used um, on the top of the hillside um, on the hills is quite a faded sort of uh, watery mix so that also helps in um, helping uh, to recede into the background so it, it looks further away and uh, that's what I wanted to sort of achieve. So I'll be using, I'll be uh, removing the masking fluid uh, pretty shortly. So I'll show you well how I do that. Um, so there's a couple of ways you can do it, but um, I've seen people use uh, erasers to sort of get that off. But I like to um, use my finger, just just more control. You can sort of use as much pressure as needed. Um, but you'll see that um, in a sec. Now I did I did want to add some tape to the um, where the land meets the water just so I get that sharp straight edge. Um, so I wanted that, but I've actually gone in and done freehand. Um, just I thought I'd take my time and and do that. So either way works. Um, but if you do want a perfectly straight sharp clean edge then um, you could just mask off your paper with masking tape and then generally gen and then gently remove once you've um, applied the um, color
Although I'm painting this from a reference photograph which I took, um, I'm actually using some artistic license. Um, due to the fact it was quite, um, I guess the hillside, um, the background was quite dark. Um, I think a lot of the scene was uh, silhouetted. Uh, just because there was quite a lot of bright sun. Um, it might have been evening, I, I can't remember what time of day it was. Um, so that it was quite quite bright. Um, so I've actually used artistic license and lightened the the hillside, um, and it actually looks better than the the reference photo. So you can always do this. Um, that's the beauty of painting. If you're an artist, then um, you can change things around. You don't feel feel like you've got to um, follow the reference. Uh, you don't have to replicate everything exactly. Um, just use it as a guide, um, something that you can use as as a reference, and um, it's it's really just a matter of preference.
I'm not a massive fan of using uh, masking fluid or frisket, whichever you, know, you call it. Um, I find it quite messy and you can get uh, the same results without using it. Um, although I do think there are some paintings, some scenery which um, are really, um, I'd, I'd really advise using um, the masking fluid. And I think this is one of the scenes which um, I think really does benefit from masking fluid in particular. So you've got these really um, nice sparkly um, a spark of light on the water so it gives you a nice um, if you're using masking fluid it gives you sharp lines it gives you hard edges um, so it's perfect for light reflecting on water um, so that's probably the only time really that I'd uh, use it um, uh, it's not really something I do use often uh, so it really is trial and error for me uh, that's why I got the ruling pen. So uh, let me know what you think if you do use masking fluid. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think of this painting. Um, I've really enjoyed uh, doing this one this week. <clears throat> I just had in the ducks and the birds in the um, sort of foreground. If you can call it foreground, I don't know what you call it in water in the the closest to us. So they're really quite dark against the uh, light. So I really like this this scene. It's it's a nice way to capture light. Um, that's what the scene is about: capturing the light in watercolor. And I think that's pretty much pretty much it. Um, thanks for watching um, I hope you give this one a go I've just got a, a building to pop on the hillside which I nearly forgot so it really is just a, um, a simple yet quite realistic scene I'm quite happy the way this has turned out um, but yeah I hope you give this a go I hope it's helpful um, if you're using masking fluid or if you've uh, you, you've not used it before, uh, this is the sort of thing you can use, um, that you can get by using masking fluid. Well, that's all for this week's video. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Um, I've really enjoyed sharing it with you. I enjoyed the painting itself. So thanks for watching. Uh, take care and I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.